Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a free website or blog with blogger.com. Now, this is a 100% free solution. You get free website hosting, and you even get a free uh, domain name, a subdomain, so it'll be something that you choose, .blogspot.com. And I'm gonna show you how to not only set this up, but do some customization so it fits your needs. All right, let's go ahead and get on into the tutorial here. Uh, to start off, simply just go to blogger.com and with your Google account, you can click on create your blog. We're gonna go ahead and sign into your Google account. I'm gonna use this one right here. And uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is choose the name for your blog. So I'm gonna call mine Tony Teaches Tech. Go ahead and click on next. And then like I was saying, you get your free um, domain name URL. So it's gonna be something.blogspot.com. I'm gonna see if I can do tonyteachestech.blogspot.com. That's available, so I'm gonna click on next. Um, confirm your display name. So this is me as the author of this blog. So I'm gonna use my actual name, which is Tony Florida. Some people would say Tony Florida. Uh, and we'll click finish. So that is it until, uh, that's all you need to do really to set up the blog. Now um, we'll go ahead and get rid of this message. Like I was saying, we're gonna do some customization of this blog and what we're gonna do first is choose a theme. Okay, so right now let's, let's take a look at what this looks like by default. You get a blog that looks like this, pretty decent, right? You got um, your profile over here, um, not too much going on here in your header, and there's no content obviously at this point. So let's go into the theme section here. And what's cool about blogger.com is the fact that you can choose any one of these pre-built themes, okay? So you got <clears throat> Contempo, various shades of that. Uh, down here, Soho, it's a little bit different, more, more, visual, uh, more visual than this one. Um, this one looks like it's geared towards potentially food bloggers. Uh, this one's a little bit more corporate feeling. So yeah, you can come through here and look at what theme you like most out of all these. Uh, I'm gonna go with the Contempo uh, light theme and that might be already what I have, but what I wanna do here is customize this, okay? And this is where we're gonna get into like what I do on here on the screen might be different for whatever you need to do, but I just wanna show you the general concepts about how you can work with the blogger.com in order to customize it. So I don't like this image. I'm gonna change the image to something else. And uh, this is gonna be like a tech technical blog. So I wanna have something along that uh, pattern. So I'm gonna pick this technology category and see if anything looks cool in here. And I kinda like this, um, this digital bits and bytes, ones and zeros. So I'm gonna use that for my background instead. So I got my title here, a nice background. And it. so first glance here, it doesn't seem like you can customize a lot, right? You only have the background, advanced and gadgets, but what a lot of people don't realize is under the drop down here, under the advanced section, you can actually customize every single or pretty much every single element on this page. So the text of the page, the background, which we just did, how the links look, and I'll just click on a couple of these. Link color, link color, the color of the link when you visited it, the color of the link when you hover over it. So we're not gonna go through all of these, but I just wanna make you aware that they exist. Um, the, one th the only thing I'm gonna change is the width of my content itself. So I tend to prefer with my websites having a, a narrower width um, so that'll be this right here. We can just slide this to be wider or narrower. So I, I like to, and you'll see when, when we add content to the website, you'll see how this looks. So um, we'll do something like that. We can always come back in here and change it if we need to. Um, but in general, this is where a lot of the customization happens. Now you'll see, uh, well, first of all, let's save this. So down here in the bottom right hand corner, we can save this. Um, you'll see that you have a profile here, it's blank. Uh, we wanna customize that as well. So let's get back out of here and look at our blog right now. And I'm gonna visit the profile. It's it's blank obviously at this point, but in order to edit it, we can click on edit profile here. And what we wanna change in here, the, the main things is uh, a picture. Okay, so let's pick a picture, what we wanna show up as uh, the, the icon above your name. So I'm gonna pick my logo for my website and upload that to blogger.com. 
and that's that looks good. Um, and then the other thing we want to change in here, and you can feel free to none. Of, I don't think a lot of this is public on your website unless somebody clicks into it, perhaps. But the one thing that we want to focus on is your introduction, because that is something that's going to show up on your blog. So I have something over here that I just uh, wrote real quick, a little blurb about what my blog's about. Um, so I'm going to put that in here. And again, you can fill out all the other sections, but these are the most important ones. Let's go ahead and save that profile. And now uh, when that's finished, we can go look at the blog again. Uh, let's get out of here, look at the blog. And you'll see now that we have our logo up here and a little blurb about our website and we still have the link to the profile. So that looks good. Okay, um, let's go into here. Now we're gonna look at adding blog posts, okay, which have like a, a date and a time associated with them and pages which are more, um, Evergreen, they the pages. So the, I think something that a lot of people have difficulty understanding is the difference between a blog post and a page. So a page is just something that exists on your website, like a contact page or an about me page, something like that. That's more permanent. And blog posts are uh, new topics that you, whatever your blog's about. So for me, it would be technology topics. So um, let me add a couple blog posts, and I won't I won't make you sit through this. I'm just going to use. Um, actual blog posts and bring them in. But let me fast forward through this part and I'll catch back up with you when I have a couple blog posts on here. Oh, and actually I just realized that I didn't, sh I should probably show you how to make a blog post. So once you click on posts, uh, click on new post, and then you'll have your, your editor here, um, just like Microsoft Word or any other word processing that you use. So you can give your, your blog post a title, call it hello world and then you can put your content down here. So, hey, um, this is my first blog post, stuff like that. Uh, change all the uh, the themes or the, the customization, do bold, do italics, uh, make it centered if you want to. So yeah, just like a typical um, word processor. So like I was saying, let me add some good looking content and then I'll catch back up with you when that's ready. Okay, I'm back. I added one blog post and I'm about to add the second one here. Um, looks pretty good. You got your headers, your content, all that stuff. The one thing I did want to point out here is the fact that um, I highly recommend for the permalink for your blog post to change it from automatic to a custom permalink. So when, when it's automatic, we're looking at the URL being um, your, your domain name slash the year, the month, and then they pretty much take the title. My title is how to stop spam comments on WordPress and just add dashes between those. But I think it's better for uh, search engine optimization purposes to pick whatever your target keyword is for this blog post, whatever you wanna show up in search results for. Um, so for this one, I would say uh, WordPress comment spam just something a little bit shorter, more concise, and it gets to the point about what this blog post is about. Okay, so, and then once you're ready, you can go ahead and click on publish, confirm that you wanna publish it. And now, like I said, we have two blog posts on our page or on our website. So let's go ahead and look at that, what that looks like. Um, we have the same layout, but now we see the content in the middle. So we have how to stop WordPress comments on or how to stop spam comments on WordPress. Uh, we get a little blurb about it, but um, if they wanna read more about that, they can click read more. And then same thing down here, um, a little bit of an overview of what that uh, blog post is about. So let's 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 click on read more and see what this looks like. You get the full page, uh, the full content of the blog post here. So that looks really good. Um, what I like to do is to, uh, change the way that this date shows up here. So I want to say like um, published on January 23rd, 2021 by Tony or something along those lines. And we can do that. You can customize the layout of your uh, blog posts, individual blog posts. So in order to do that, we can go back to our dashboard for Blogger and go into the layout section again. And in here, um, something that we didn't look out well, we didn't look at layout yet, but if you go down here, you can see kind of how the structure of your page is uh, laid out. Uh, obviously that's because we're in the layout section, but we want to look at the blog post section here and edit that. And that'll bring up this other window here. And like I was saying, we could change the way that the metadata associated with this blog post shows up and all blog posts for that matter. So I want to click on by Tony Florida and then the date. 
um, I can say by so it'll say by Tony Florida on the date that the blog post was published. And you can change that if you want to pick a different structure. So really it is highly customizable. And then you have all these other um, options to turn on or off like share buttons and reactions and stuff like that. So um, we won't go through them, but I just want to show you that this exists and you can use it. So click on save and we will see what that looks like now. So before it just had the date, now it says by Tony Florida. Oops, I put an extra Y in there, my bad. Let me, uh, let me modify that one more time and then it will look good. So we'll save that, uh, view the blog. So by Tony Florida on January 23rd, 2021. Okay, so like I was saying, um, there's two different types of content that you can make. One is a blog post and one is a page. So uh, just like before, I'm gonna add a page or two to the website. Um, to do that, you can click on pages and then add a new page. And very similar, very similar structure here. You got your title, your content, and then all your publishing options over here. So um, let me pause again. I'll add some content here and then I'll catch back up with you when I'm ready. Okay guys, I'm back and I created an about page, which we'll take a look at in a second. But you can see that here uh, we have our about page called about Tony. Um, the thing here is if we go to our website, by default, there is no way, no easy way to access our about page. Um, our archive is only dealing with our blog posts. So what we want to do is edit our sidebar over here to add a link to the about page. And we can do that um, if we get it back out of here and go into the layout section again. And like I was saying, this is the structure of how your, uh, your, your website is laid, like the main skeleton structure of it, I guess. Um, what we want to do is add a gadget to the sidebar bottom section. So right now we have our archive like we saw, um, labels, which there's not much there, and the report abuse. And we can, you know, in here, if you don't want to show this, you can get rid of this, uh, turn it off. And if you don't want labels to show up, you can uh, remove that altogether. Uh, but what we're going to do here is add a gadget which, and they're just using the terminology gadget here, it's just like a section to your website, and I'm gonna add the pages section, okay? And um, you can give it a title if you want, uh, but what you do in here is you can show what pages you want to, um, or you can choose what pages you wanna show on your sidebar. So we can have a link to the home page, and we can have a link to the About Tony page. Um, and you can pick whatever order you want them to show up in. I'll keep, I'll keep the default order here. And then when we click on save, uh, we can go back to look at our blog. And now we'll have those links to those pages. So the home page will take us back home here. And the about page for about Tony will take us to our about page. And this is kind of what that looks like. Um, we got headers, content, and the a couple pictures in here. So that's, that's my about page. Um, yeah, so I think at this point, this is uh, this is all I'm gonna show you about blogger.com. Like I said, it's a completely free way to make a website online. You can add any type of content you want, blog posts, pages, pictures, all that stuff. You get your, your domain name um, and the hosting is free. So uh, if you wanna check it out, I got a link down in the description below to start, or if you could just go directly to blogger.com, that's equally as good. If you wanna check out some other videos about how to make free websites, I got a whole playlist on that over here, so check those out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.